because I have taught a course in the rhetoric of science on a couple of occasions, uh, sometimes when I've mentioned that to some people, they say, rhetoric of science, that's, there's no such thing. Scientists don't use rhetoric. And although I think that is inaccurate, uh, it made me a little curious uh, to find out just what some scientists thought about the phrase, the rhetoric of science. So uh, I asked four of them that I happened to run into on uh, the Lawrenceville campus of Rider University. And in each case, I gave them no warning. I just told them that I was going to ask them to respond to a four word phrase and that uh, I might be sharing the results of their response with uh, some students in a course on the rhetoric of science. So here are the four responses I got from for scientists. The rhetoric of science is all about how we think and speak about science. One thing I like about this very succinct answer is that rhetoric is understood not just as speaking, but also about thinking. Well, science, just like any other profession, has its own language. Like if I wanted to be an accountant, I have to learn about debits and credits and marginal return and marginal cost, and that's just the language of accounting and economics. If I wanted to be a scientist, I have to learn the language of science that refers to things so scientists can speak a common language, understand each other. This response initially equates rhetoric with language, but it ends by emphasizing the importance of a common language in the interest of understanding. I don't know what to say, the rhetoric. Uh, well, certainly there's a distinct lingo, link language of science. Um, that That's one of the reasons why it's hard for non-scientists to sort of break through and understand science. And I think that's a big, that's a, that's a our bad on the part of scientists for not communicating well enough with folks who are the first ones to say, oh, I don't like science. Here again, we have a scientist who is equating rhetoric with language, but he adds two very significant dimensions, one of which is the notion of communication between experts and members of what might be called the lay audience. And also, he echoes Aristotle's own justification for rhetoric in terms of its ability to communicate to people who do not have the benefit of the same understanding as the experts have. The rhetoric of science, to me, and that translates to the language of science, <clears throat> which ultimately goes to mathematics. But the rhetoric of science is uh, the means to communicate results, to communicate understanding of science, and to support conclusions about science-related things. Finally, we have yet another scientist who is equating rhetoric with language, but she mentions the very significant connection of mathematics as possibly constituting the language of science. And finally, in addition to other sorts of communication, she men mentions supporting conclusions. So she has touched upon the notion of rhetoric as that which is used to make arguments about science. I'm very happy to see that my colleagues included within the rhetoric of science, speaking and thinking, communicating to scientists and to lay audiences, mentioned that it has an ethical dimension, that mathematics is the language of science, and that it can be used to support arguments about science. I thank them for their contributions.